of all those years, I carried a gun. Solved the most intriguing cases. Walking around the clock, running over case notes. Nothing amused me like the one I'm about to share with you. Martin, you f Why don't you come home earlier every night? So what have we got here, Doc? Mm, a man less than 35, normal physique. Uh, names are Chris Columbus. That's what I heard from the doers team. I need the resume of his corpse, not the man. Mm, all right, here we have a man dead. Mm, approximately not more than six hours ago. No deep cuts, no damaged portions. It's a clever piece of execution. However, I found a doctor's touch near his neck. Syringe? Poison? Low level of thought. Something bigger. Bigger? Death by poison has become the most old-fashioned way of killing or dying. I believe, officer, that a person of your stature in the police department would understand that there are numerous other ways of dying. When can I get the clear picture? The autopsy will have it. When? Six. Six. And no delays. The earlier, the drink is on me tonight. Much appreciated. I need some time with him, doc. Alone. Five minutes. Excuse me, sir. Facts on Chris Columbus. <clears throat> what are your names, by the way? Sir Jason, and this is David. Spill out the facts. Chris Columbus, male, uh, fair complexion, research scientist, and uh, veteran in the field of medicine. Interesting. Go ahead. So, he works in the R&D labs down south and uh, he's single, no relationships, that's what the neighbors say. Additionally, they add he's very humble and uh, they're still shocked by the incident. What about forensics? Any developments? Hmm. A team checked down here, sir, earlier. We can expect the results in an hour or two. All right, you do. I want you both checking on his place of work. Try finding more of his strong traits this time. That could only help us. Yes, sir. And that man down there, humanly called us. 
you might like to have a word with him sir yeah so he is the one you can carry on what's your name martin woods he was a friend of chris yeah for the past 6 years what kind of a person he was uh he usually kept to himself i'd say he'll not win any man's grudge that easily have you had any quarrel or two recently every night for calling in late nothing serious i need some time with your friend over there i'll check on you later what does this thing mean doc have you got any idea i've got no idea actor check on the other one too hmm. seems like someone wants to play doc Arthur I get it now that's a dewey decimal classification number I believe he has something held there as well which will help us to inch towards him seems like it's bigger than ever he wants to make it larger than life i believe get ready with autopsy doc similar pattern after we both left i found two notes over there similar ones here he wants us to find him so what's in here no sir an address someone already is dead down there i believe at the back of it the find me thing and ezekiel who is ezekiel actually ezekiel sir have you read the bible bible i grew up an atheist what it has got to do with the bible he's a prophet sir he's one of those great men whose ideas are comprised in that bible This is Detective Arthur. Connect me to the chief. Yeah, tell me. Arthur here. I want somebody calling in at number 25 Percy Street. I'll send someone there right now. Sir, name's Charles Dawson. He worked with Chris Columbus in R&D. Heard of him and checked down to the workplace. Also there is an additional information, sir. Um him him chris and two others named uh, john and mac were closely associated in the arrest of a fellow scientist named jim edwards 6 uh, years ago
reason it is told that jim was believed to be attempting to experiment on humans what sorts of experiments are still unclear sir yeah sir this is the police personal calling from the crime scene we have a man down john clever male 30 scientist check the victim's pockets gloved just a second sir two sheets in the pocket one reads a 25 and an address and at the back it's written find me the address please 65 green meadow grasslands thanks for the help you want somebody calling in sir no 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 he has got something for me in this bible send the body for autopsy me and jason will meet you in an hour at the morgue and then trace the address of jim edwards Ezekiel 25:17 uh, I will get the bible uh, check on the tradi So here it is The path of the righteous man is based on all the sides by the iniquities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men Blessed is he who in the name of charity and good will shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness for he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children and i will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers and you will know my name is the lord when i lay my vengeance upon thee vengeance brothers i can't get a clear picture just mm, neither can i sir wait we have another pocket left Sir David, calling from the morgue. The autopsy is over here. Dr. Smith wants to have a word with you. Yes, sir. Arthur, it's bigger as we suspected. They were not poisoned. They were killed by embolism. Sending an air bubble into the bloodstream, well, it's much more dangerous than three bullets striking at the chest simultaneously. The syringe was used only to make them faint. Only a person who is a scientist or has an in-depth knowledge in medicine and humans could have done this. The drink is on you tonight. Sir, the address of Jim Edwards has been traced. It's uh twelve. Wait, Western Gate, Highlands. Sir, David, we have our man. He wants us there. Get as many police officers armed as you can and get out there. Me and Jason are on our way. This is the police. Stay wherever you are and don't try to move. Whoever this is, raise your hands up in the air and turn around. Your curiosity always seems to get the better of you, Arthur. Who are you? I am the one who created the game you are playing right now. In your relative terms, I murdered those four people. Jim Edwards. Jim Edwards, 
You are under arrest on charges with murdering four people. Ah, don't spoil the fun, Nartha. I assure you, the best part is yet to come. What are you talking about? Reason is a very important factor to solve any puzzle. Don't you wish to hear the one for which you're solving right now? Now shut your mouth and cooperate with us. Yeah, tell me, Doc. I forgot to tell you one thing. The murders all happened around the same time, close to three in the morning. How can a man possibly be in three different locations at the same time? What the fuck? Now you wish to hear it. Ezekiel, twenty-five seventeen. Can you get it? Brothers? How many brothers have you got? I don't have any, but I can create many. What the hell are you talking about? Time for some magic, I believe. Arthur, please welcome my first brother, Jim. First of how many? Four, I believe. Eventually. Arthur, you never did know what experiments I tried on humans, do you? I am a cloning expert. We are all brothers. I sought vengeance upon those who prevented artificial brothers from being born in this world. Imagine a lifetime partner who understands you completely, who helps you in every regard. Those fools did not understand. You are not a fool, are you, Arthur? They sent you to jail for trying to implement human cloning. Yes. They tarnished my reputation. They collapsed my research. I wanted to show the world what cloning is capable of. So I created my brothers, sought vengeance, and I left trials. Now I'm going to teach the world that you'll never be able to catch your father, Jim Edwards. Father? The mastermind, the one who gave us life and a purpose to live. Now enough of your mind games. I'm taking you all into custody. Don't worry, we're not here to escape. If escape was our route. We wouldn't have left those trials behind. Where is Jimmy Edwards? I am Jimmy Edwards. You can't save him for long. If that was the case, you could have caught him by now. Your laboratory is closed. No more research. No more brothers. He can't be out for long. There's a nationwide hunt on him. You see, Arthur, people who go missing or into hiding get caught only when they try to come back. Give us one valid reason why he would try to do so. Mm, knowledge. It's too hard to possess for a long time. At some time, you would like to spread it. Ah, that is the purpose of us. We are here to do that for him. The roots have been laid strong. All right, I know something that motivates him better than reason. What is that? You will know in a while. <laughs> They seem to possess a greater threat, sir. I do get it. I'll have a word with the chief. Have some coffee, sir. Those guys—they possess a great deal of danger to the society. What do you mean, Otto? Sir, they possess a knowledge that is highly, highly dangerous. Dangerous? Biologically equivalent to that of a clean slate. I would like you to be more precise. Sir, their knowledge on cloning and them being an example of high success rate could open up possibilities to new crime scenarios. What could be the worst judgment they could get? Ten years of jail, uh, <coughs> five years of rehabilitation after that, perhaps. Ten years of jail time. Hmm? By that time, they could teach what they possess to a minimum thousand culprits. And in some years, we would be hunting a thousand clones for a thousand cases for a thousand crimes. And they are most likely to go viral during a court verdict while it happens. Imagine a jailbreak, and if they are taken up by terrorist organization. I see the overall picture of this ortho. What are you trying to propose? Jim Edwards was never caught. He escaped, and we are in still search of him. So, what about these clones? They don't have a certificate of birth, and I'm more modest not to give them a certificate of death either. Murder them. Sir, I know what motivates real Jim better than anything. More the reason, it's revenge. 
he'll seek out revenge for uh, spoiling his plan and literally killing his brothers. So, how to find him? You don't have to find him. All you have to do is just wait for him to begin his game again. He'll definitely come for me. And this is for the benefit of all that is good that is left in this world. This man's knowledge could be a very deadly weapon when fallen into wrong hands. The fact that human cloning can be done can dehumanize humans. This was his plan all along. To spread what he possessed and he sought a negative course for it. Meanwhile plotting his revenge. Shall we do this sir? <coughs> All those years, I had handled a number of cases. Nothing amused me this much. All sleepless nights, I have waited for him to strike. But he never did. But I always knew he would come for me one day. And I lead this life in the belief that it could be this day.